Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, and I'm back for more Final Fantasy VIII Remastered on the Nintendo Switch. And in today's episode, we're going to start covering a few optional bits. And our first point of call is going to be to finish off the CC group. And our first opponent is going to be none other than you. So without further ado, let's go ahead here and... She wants to use the sudden death rule. Let's not put the sudden death rule in. There we go. I don't like that sudden death rule, it's evil. Now she also has the rare carbuncle card as well, so we're going to be trying to play for that as well. And she also has a lot of level 7 cards too, so we're also going to try and take a look at those out. I'm going to play her again to try and get the uh, Carbuncle card a minute. And I also managed to, off camera, win back all those cards that I lost to the Mare. So I'm now fully kitted out again with a full deck. Now I'm not handing the card over that we need. my fault though, I misplayed my cards a little bit. Wow, she really does not want to play that flipping carbuncle card. She's got to play it soon though, I reckon. Very clever, it doesn't matter what I do here, it's going to end in a draw. Oh, we've lost the Biff rule again. back. But she still won't play the card uncle card. God the RNG really is against me on this playthrough. Jumbo Cactar, so that's something.
Come on, you. Why you the blooming car, Uncle Carl, so we can move on? Apparently not. She really does not want to hand that card from Card over. Try one more time here. If I don't get it this time round, I'll. Yeah, she's just not playing right now. I'll have to go and get Carbon Clock Camera. She does have it. I promise you, she does have it. But for whatever reason, the uh, RNG is going against me. I don't know why. It just is. Um, so, like I say, I'll, I'll, I'll bust her for that card off camera. Um, so what we'll do is, once I finish this game, is we're going to go ahead and lure out the card queen. So to do that, we need to make our way down to the bottom floor. And this is why I haven't set my team up just yet, ready to go into battle against anything, because I knew I was going to have to do this. So we need to talk to uh, we need to talk to Dr. Kadawaki and ask her about the CC group. And she will hint at who it is, but won't actually tell us. Now for the final step, and this is why we couldn't finish off the CC group earlier, because the particular person in question just so happened to be someone in our team. And all you'll need to do is get rid of your party and then rest, and then the king will come to you. And the card queen is none other than Quistus herself. Now she is in possession of the rare Gilgamesh card as well, so we're going to try and kill two birds with one stone here. And of course the RNG is going against me again, she's refusing to play it. What is going on? Take those two, I 
there we go, that is the CC group defeated. So now we'll go ahead and make our way back up to the bridge. And we can face off against Quistus and you up there anytime we wish. her again, see if she'll hand over the Gilgamesh card. There we go. <coughs> All I've got to do is defeat her now. The card will be ours. Let's see here. her one last time to see if the uh, card bank and card bank to come out of the woodwork now. No, but some other cards have. Come on, hand it over. Yes, finally, I managed to get it on camera. <coughs> to prove that I'm not lying, that it does exist, that she does have it. Um, now I just have to defeat her to get it. Listen. So I believe we've just completed our oops. Let's have a look. <clears throat> oh no, we're missing one last level seven card. Which one would that be, I wonder? Oh the propagator card. That'll pop up at some point I'm sure. Right, so with that done. It's time to put our party together. And from here we are going to head north actually. Because we can't get to where we're going by going south. We're going to have to go this way because the bridge is in the way. But if we go north and head out the top of the map, <coughs> it will put us back at the bottom of the map. <coughs> so to speak. <coughs> so let's see here, let's just drop over here. Um, let me see here, I just need to get my bearings a second here. I think it's this landmass here that we need. There it is. I'm going to go and get our hands on an optional Guardian Force now. Oh, wow, I know this junction. Okay. Mm. 
ideally we want that magic up to 50, but we'll have to roll with it for now. Then again, I could stick that on, I suppose. That'll put us up a bit higher. We know our... And we are going to be getting our hands on some more useful spells very soon as well. In fact, we should be able to start kitting out our team quite well soon. Now I'm just going to save my game here at this point. And for this next bit, I am going to go into God mode just to speed this up a little bit. Because otherwise it's going to take us flipping forever. And I am against the clock a little bit here. Now you'll notice the timer, that is for Odin, and we're just going to stay at the bottom here. We're not going to worry about Odin for now, because if we go and get Odin, it's going to screw a few things up. In fact, I'll try and explain it as we go along here. So Odin, basically, when you get him, he will randomly summon himself up in battle to help you out. And when he does it, it's a one-shot kill against most things. Now... First of all, if we get him now, when we get to the end of disc 3, he will summon up against Cypher, who will immediately cut him down and kill him, and he will then be taken over by Gilgamesh, who is, well, I'll be honest, he's useless. Um, but more importantly, if we get Odin right now, he will interfere with our Anglo search later on. So I recommend not getting Odin into a disc for by which time you should have done your Anglo search and you will have gone past um, and you will have gone past Cypher as well so you won't end up with Gilgamesh. We need to kill about 20 or so of these uh, tumbles, which is why I've gone into God mode and used the base to put them in the line. Just to get it done nice and quickly. Each tumble is about 40 so one hand to click and should do it by when you've been following the rule and you've been letting up enough and whatnot. Okay, you should get through this quickly. And then once we've killed enough, Tomri King is going to pop out of the woodwork. And at that point, we're going to want to start drawing from him because he will have full life in his arsenal, providing he's at the right level. And full life is what we want to equip to our health um, stats. Until such time that we can get our hands on the war. I'm going to be showing you a really quick way to get hold of them all very shortly. And at the same time, I will be showing you the money trick as well.
competitive heart. Now, so long as you haven't gone up off road, and when that timer runs down, it will just chuck you out of the area, and then you can just simply um, you can just simply re-enter again. I also do recommend saving a little bit as well um, after you've killed so many Tombreeze as well, just so that you're not screwing yourself over, just in case. For whatever reason, Tombu does uh, Tombu King gets lucky and takes you out. That way, you're not having to go through this all over again. I'm not quite sure how many Tombu's I've killed. I've not really been keeping count. But I know I've killed a fair few so far. It shouldn't take too much longer. now I reckon. Once we've got Tombri out of the way, I'm going to show you guys one last thing for this episode before I peace out. Let's see the game again. Oh, shut up, Odin. I'll deal with you later. Don't you worry, you will be joining us, just not yet. Stop being so impatient and then... I did not mean to do that. Solid! There we go. I think I kept slipping off the button. The king's got to pop up soon. Loads. Wow. Got to be getting close now. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, that's another good point to have. Now though... Oh, we've only got one of those guys. I don't believe it. He's not high in the level. That sucks. Well, if we get Death Rider, we're going to be sod it and he's going to kill him. That is annoying as hell. First thing we're going to teach him will be familiar. And we're going to come out of here. Oh, shut up, Odin. Let's quickly save our game here. Damn, I forgot to put my flipping no encounters back on. So I'm going to show you guys one last thing before I call it quits for this episode. So from here we're going to head... Uh, I need to get out of here first of all. So let's head this way. We want to head onto this bit of land here. And then from here we're going to head all the way up through here. All the way up through here. All the way up to here. And then we're going to drop the garden here because it's as far as the garden can really go. And we're going to walk through here, slip through, all the way up to here. And then here we are going to hopefully find. Well, that's not what I was after, but I'll take it. I know I'm still in dog mode right now. But the reason I'm in god mode is because actually what we're about to go after is easier to farm in uh, god mode because they do run away. So it's best to actually... Uh, it's actually better to take them in god mode and want to be hovering over this side towards the Cactar Island it would go. Now these Cactars, they give 20 AP a time. So right now we've got two of them, so that is going to be, or would have been, 40 AP had I managed to kill the other one before it got away. Oh, but, so I'll just give you another quick demonstration. So there's three this time, that's 60 if we can get them all. You have to be very quick to take them out, that's why I'm saying you need to be in god mode for it. Um, but you can max out your Guardian Forces um, abilities really quickly with this. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And I'm going to save my game here and sit here because off camera I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of grinding. And next episode we will start working on some more optional stuff. So do stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye for now folks. Take care.